Welcome. My name is Dr. John Smullyan, and I am the Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology at UF Health Shands Hospital. I am delighted to introduce you to our newly designed labor and delivery suites and the Pregnancy Care Unit. We hope this labor and delivery tour helps you feel more at home when it's time to deliver your baby. Most of the footage you will see in this video was filmed prior to the COVID-19 pandemic and may not reflect evolving professional recommendations regarding visitors and the use of masks. Please know that your health and the health of your child are our top priority, and we are committed to providing you and your family the best experience possible. We thank you for sharing your journey with us. Preparing to add a new member or members to your family is an exciting time. This video will walk you through your stay at UF Health Chan's Hospital from arrival through discharge so you can be prepared when the time comes to deliver. First steps. If you think it's time to come to the hospital for delivery, call 352-265-0035 and ask for labor and delivery. Our team will speak with you and plan next steps. Arrival and check-in. Valley parking is available at the front circle for $3 with a parking voucher. Self-parking is also available at the East Garage. Parking for patients or patient visitors in the East Garage is complimentary with a voucher. Patients and visitors must ask for a parking voucher when they leave their location of service. Please be advised that parking is cash only. When you arrive at UF Health Chan's Hospital, make your way to the Children's Hospital elevators. The Labor and Delivery Unit is on the third floor. Once you arrive outside the Labor and Delivery Unit, pick up the red phone and let our nursing team know you've arrived. Someone will come to greet you and take you to your room. For the safety of our moms and babies, our labor and delivery and mother baby units are secured units that require check-in prior to entry. Triage room. In the triage room, our team will assess where you're at in your birth progression and plan for next steps. If you are in active labor, you will be taken to a labor and delivery suite. If you are not yet in active labor, the team may advise you to go home, where you may be more comfortable while allowing your labor to progress and return to the hospital once contractions are more regular, your water breaks, or bleeding becomes significant. Antepartum room. If you are pregnant and need to be hospitalized, you may be admitted to one of our antepartum rooms. Our antepartum rooms, designed for patients not yet ready to deliver, offer an adjustable bed, private restroom, television, and also other items like shampoo, pillows, and blankets. Labor and Delivery Room. Our private labor and delivery suites promote comfort and peace for your baby's birth. Rooms are warmly decorated and offer an adjustable bed, private restroom, a wireless fetal monitoring device, an infant warmer, a television, a fan and peanut and birthing balls, as well as other items like shampoo, blankets, and pillows. Each room also has accommodations for birth partners and family who are present during the labor and delivery process. Labor is a personal experience and that is why we offer individualized care. We support moms who want low intervention, non-medicated births, and moms who want other levels of labor management. We offer various methods including epidurals and nitrous oxide to ease the pain of labor. Your care team will work with you to build a plan based on your needs and desires. Once your baby arrives, we promote immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact at birth for the first hour to help your baby transition and to promote bonding. If your little one needs additional support and care, our Level 4 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, the highest level of care offered to newborns, is close by. Families are profoundly impacted by hospital practices in the first hours of their baby's life. And as a baby-friendly hospital, we provide the care we know to be evidence-based, safe, and of the highest quality. As part of our designation, we provide education to mothers, both prenatally and during their hospital stay on the benefits of breastfeeding. We provide support through our nursing staff and have lactation consultants available for those needing additional assistance. Visitation Policy. Our visitation policy can vary based on specific health recommendations in order to keep our patients and visitors safe. Please visit ufhealth.org uf health dash women's dash center to see our most current visitation policy. OR and PACU. For cesarean sections or C-sections, mom and her birth partner will be brought to a preoperative bed in labor and delivery for admission. When ready, both are escorted to an operating room on our unit. Birth partners will be asked to be fully gowned. 
In our operating rooms, we support skin-to-skin -skin contact after ensuring both mom and baby are stable. After your C-section, you will be taken to our post-anesthesia care unit in labor and delivery to recover after your surgery, where skin-to-skin -skin contact will continue. Postpartum, mother and baby. After delivery, usually about two to three hours later, mom and baby are moved to a postpartum room on our mother-baby unit located on the ninth floor. Postpartum rooms are equipped with an adjustable bed, sleeper sofa for birth partner or family, television, private restroom, and all needed post-birth essentials and toiletries for mom, such as postpartum underwear, pads, compression belly band for C-section incision recovery, and ice packs. Hats, socks, t-shirts, diapers, and blankets are provided for baby. Our perinatal nurses have received extensive education in lactation support. For difficult feeding situations, lactation consultants are available seven days a week to support moms in their breastfeeding journey. At UF Health, we support what is called rooming in, or couplet care, so you can bond with your newborn baby in a private setting. Your baby stays with you at all times, even during examinations. Our UF Health pediatricians visit you, so you are present for all your baby's health screenings and able to ask any questions you may have. While on the mother-baby unit, our team will provide education on postpartum care and baby's newborn care. Representatives from different hospital services will also visit. These include physicians, nurses, and patient care assistants for mom and baby, lactation counselors, food and nutrition, and social work. Birth certificate information will also be completed. Discharge typically occurs 24 to 48 hours after delivery. When the time comes for you to leave the hospital and return home, you and your baby will be taken to our UF Health Shands Hospital Valet Circle, where your partner or family member can pull up your vehicle to take you home. Thank you for watching our UF Health Hospital Delivery Tour. We hope you enjoyed seeing our rooms and we look forward to the opportunity to help you along your pregnancy journey. Please visit ufhealth.org pregnancy for more information about our practice locations, pregnancy care services, and educational class offerings.